Hi there guys, today I want to show you how to stream your 3DS screen to your PC. So of course this is a new feature introduced by the NTR custom firmware team. That's really a great job because you don't need any hardware, you just need your 3DS and a few things, a few programs to run it. Okay, so without further ado, let's just see how it works. So we have here what you need. So this file, CTRV, of course it's gonna be updated every now and again. And of course you need, uh, if you see here, this file, NTR custom firmware, let's see, boot NTR. I'm just gonna leave the files links in the description down below so that you can get them. <coughs> of course, your PC. And you need, uh, of course, a Microsoft Framework, Microsoft Net, the Net Framework uh, version 4 or higher. So if you have uh, Windows 10, you most likely have it already installed. If you have Windows 7 or older, you might need to check it and see if it's there. Okay, so you're going to download uh, these files. Of course, you're going to download this file to your PC and this one to your 3ds install it with the title manager of your choice fbi dev menu anything then here you're going to put the ip address of your 3ds so of course you need to know your ip address of your 3ds so you need to use it you need to find it you need to find it in your router or you need to use a some software for example some uh, software in your Android phone or tablet or iOS device so it just it's uh, for example say thing yeah there's this application which is called thing f i n g so you just download it and it's going to give you all, all the IP addresses of the devices connected to your Wi-Fi okay so once you found your IP address just type it here go uh, to the top here and hit connect and the screen is gonna pop up now as you can see here it's very solid it's really good it can stream your 3ds it has some limitations it doesn't stream some applications especially homebrew doesn't really stream it audio of course you cannot stream it unless you find a way to like use I don't know a speaker something to connect to your uh, PC and 3ds I don't know but yeah there is this limitation I don't think it's really a big deal because it's already a really good thing to be able to you know stream your 3ds screen without uh, any hardware and those capture cards as you know really cost a lot Okay, uh, there is another thing which is the quality. So here you can see in the NTR view quality. <coughs> so this quality depends on your router. So if you have a good router, one of those strong routers, to use a newer technology, you're gonna you're not gonna be have uh, any problem. So you're just gonna stream things uh, with the maximum quality. If you don't have a good router or if you're trying to use an old phone as a hotspot or something uh, you're gonna have problems and you're not gonna be able to you know stream like 100% frame rate you're gonna have really bad frame rates if ever playable you're gonna have lots of pro lots of problems so just try to make sure you have a good router or a good phone, one of those new phones, and you can use it as a hotspot to, you know, connect your 3DS and your uh, PC to internet because, of course, it uses the internet. Okay, so let's just try a game here. For example, Super Mario Maker. <coughs> Sorry, seems like I caught a cold. <coughs> Sorry okay so there it is all right 
you can see here it's working fine so let's let's play and go to the internet so you can also use the internet you can stream something like live <coughs> uh, competitions something or even Pokemon Pokemon Sun Pokemon Moon even though these two games have a special way of connecting I'm not using them I'm not playing Pokemon games so I cannot help you with this but um just, just you know look up and you're going to find how to play those games and stream them of course okay so here you see there are lots of um, levels so for example this one here okay So you can see it's really working fine. Almost 100% frame rate. And it's really nice to to be able to Okay. Man. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> It's useless against them anyway. Okay, so there you see. So, just going to hit the home menu, exit, and it works. But it's not going to work with homebrew. Just going to work with games. Okay, money card. So you see it's really nice, quick, responsive. Okay. So the quality is hundred percent. Very good. I think it's a really nice feature. Okay, so there you see, guys, it's working really fine, very good. So if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and see you again in other videos. Bye-bye.